Hey church, my name is Matt Hill and um, I'm the worship director here at Audacious. And uh, I just want to share a little devotion with you. Um, I know that this year has been crazy. For some, it's been an uphill struggle. I think for others of you, maybe you felt like you've been rolling downhill as fast as you can go. It's been uncontrollable outside of our control. I know life from time to time can throw us into some battles. And in 2 Chronicles 20, we find a vast army has come to wage war on King Jehoshaphat. And uh, it says, Alarmed, Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire of the Lord. In the New King James Version, that word is feared. So feared or alarmed. How many of you in this year, 2020, 2021, have on occasion felt fearful or felt alarmed about the situations that have come our way? Well, that's exactly where King Jehoshaphat found himself. And uh, what follows is a very famous scripture that I, as a youth worship leader, learnt by that famous song by Ron Canoli, The Battle is the Lord's. And needless to say, we never played it in youth because it was far too complicated. Um, but the principles have stuck in my head. Uh, the key to the victory came when praise and worship were sent out at the front of the army. So the assembly of Judah gathered together, and in fact, it says that every man, woman, and their children were together, and they sought the Lord as a family, as the, the children of God. Um, and uh, in verse 12, it says, we do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Then God speaks through Jehaziel, you will not have to fight this battle but take up your position, stand firm and see the deliverance that God will give you, Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow and the Lord will be with you, it says in verse 17. On the day of the battle, Jehoshaphat appointed singers to go at the head of the army, singing, give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. And verse 22, when it all came together, as they began to sing and praise, the Bible says, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon, Moab and Mount Seir who were living, who were invading Judah and they were defeated. When we face a battle in our lives, let's remember to take these lessons from the scripture that we've just read. Number one, let's seek the Lord. The first response to bad news, which was excellent from King Jehoshaphat, was to inquire of the Lord. What is God saying about this situation? The second thing is to sing. Praise the one who will fight the battle for us. Who can stand against the power of the Lord? And number three, stand. We do not need to fight. In fact, we're instructed um, not to fight, but to take our positions and to stand firm. What is one area of your life where you know God is asking you to stand firm on his promise, on his word? And finally, number four, to see. I love the references all throughout this scripture about sight, about even though we don't know what to do, we fix our eyes on you. Um, and as we stand firm and we take up our positions, his promise is that we will see the deliverance that the Lord has for us. So what is God doing and where is he at work in our lives? We must never take our eyes off what he's doing. Never let anything distract you um, never let the, the battle distract you from actually what God is doing. Make sure we will see the deliverance that the Lord has for us. So let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that we do not fight the battle alone. In fact, you do not ask us to fight at all. Instead, we choose to hear your word over the situation, to lift up a song of praise instead of a battle cry. And as we stand in the promise of your word, we trust that we will see the deliverance that you have in store for us today. Amen.